Hey guys, it's Christopho and welcome to another Solaris tutorial. Today it will be about um, shop items, how to sell treasures to the player. So let's make a little shop. Um, chapter 15. Shop. Let's go. We will make a house with Kakariko village. And as always, a standard room and an entrance. Okay. So, destination. Um, let's tell the, the save game to start on chapter 15. So, to make a shop item that can be sold to the player. There is this built-in entity, shop treasure, that you can use. For example, let's make a shop item with flippers. Um, so you have a few options here. You can you have to configure the treasure the player will obtain and whether it's saved or not saved. So some treasures in um, in shops can be saved, and if they are if they are saved, they will be able to be purchased only once. Um, so for the flippers, usually you want to save the state. Shop flippers. Okay, and the price, let's say 100 rupees. And here you have to um, give the ID of the di dialogue to show when the player interacts with the treasure. And let's call this dialogue, actually, let's call all shop dialogues um, shop dot the treasure, the item name dot the variant. So shop dot flipper dot one. Okay, and this means you have to make the dialogue in your dialogue file. Um, we did the dialogue f when for uh, obtaining the flippers. So we need another one for the description in shops. Shops dot flippers dot one. And the description will be something like with the flippers. You will be able to swim in deep water. But it is very, um, they are very expensive. Okay, uh, save, save, and let's see what we have. Okay, so you have the engine displaying treasures automatically like this, an icon for the, for the item, this small rupee icon, and the price with the default font. Um, so the this rupee icon is the sprite. It must exist as a sprite called um, entities slash rupee icon. It's this one, this very small icon. Okay. And when you interact with the item, uh, it's a bit weird when there there are no. <laughs> Uh, no one here, if there is no one. So let's make a non-playing character, even though we never saw um, non-playing characters before. Actually, we'll see them in the next chapter. Let's choose a villager sprite and OK. So 
the character will not talk in this example. Okay. So nothing happens when I press space. Maybe I made a mistake with the dialog ID shop dot flippers I forgot the S. That's probably indicated in the error.txt file. Yes, no such dialog. So when you interact with the item, with you have the dialog you, you configured. With the flippers you will be able to swim in rich water, but they are very expensive. And then this is followed by an automatic dialog um, that should ask a question, but uh, there is the cursor is missing. Let's fix this. Um, there are three, actually three, built-in dialogues needed to use the shop treasures. This one, underscore shop dot question, and these ones, when the player doesn't have enough money or when uh, it's a treasure with an amount and the player already has the maximum amount. This is useful for bombs or arrows <coughs> and this kind of items. And um, rem recall that to ask a question to the player in this in the dialog box um, that we made in a in of a previous episode, uh, you need to use this sequence dollar and interrogation mark. So they are missing here because I must have just um, used the dialogues from my game Zelda Mystery of Solaris DX, and the dialog system did not have the same. Uh, didn't work the same way. Okay, so the engine automatically calls your dialogue underscore shop dot question. If you if this dialogue is missing, you will probably have an error message. Um, and in your dialogue shop dot question, the dollar v sequence is replaced by the price that you configured here. Okay, so buy or don't buy. Let's try don't buy, nothing happens. Let's try buy. You don't have enough rupees. <coughs> and maybe we can keep this in the same line. Because this dialog box is much larger than the one of the Mystery of Solaris DX. And finally, let's try to give some rupees just to test the shop. Red rupees. And with five red rupees, it should be enough. So I am using the rupee counter that we did in the previous chapter. Okay, you found the flippers. You can now swim in deep water. And this dialogue is this time the usual one that uh, is displayed when the player obtain, obtains a treasure. If you, I mean, if you found, uh, if you find the the flippers in a chest, it will be this exact dialogue. Um, this one. So okay, you know how to make a shop treasure. So as you can see, there is no programming, there is no Lua involved. Um, the, the goal of this is to allow you to sell something to the player mm, without uh, any script. 
you just have to configure the treasure, the price, and a dialog that describes the treasure. It, and this also means that you don't have a lot of of customization possible with shop treasure entities. Uh, for example, they are they can only be displayed like this, and you need to have first a dialogue that describes the item and then a dialogue that asks the question. So if you want to do a shop differently, you 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 will will probably not use this one if you need more customization. But maybe you will use um, non-playing characters directly or even perhaps custom entities. Okay, and uh, we will see actually playing characters in the next chapter. Um, I wanted to show you, oh by the way, it's much better like this. <laughs> I wanted to show you a second example of shop treasure. Um, one that is not saved actually to see the difference. So let's also sell the shield and in Zelda you know that uh, there exist the like-like enemies and they can steal your your shield actually. So it might be useful to make a shop that sells uh, the shield to the player but th it won't be saved. Player, the player will be able to um, buy the shield several times. Uh, okay, so let's try that. It means that we or we also need the shield description dialog. Use the shield to defend or to be protected against enemies. Price 25 rupees by you found the shield. Okay, the dialogue is not correctly aligned. But it doesn't really matter. Um, so, when you buy the shield, it is si still available, as I said, because it's not saved. Um, but on the contrary, the flippers disappear when you buy them. So this um, checkbox, um, this checkbox changes whether the the treasure is unique or if it it can be purchased several times. Uh, okay, I want to fix my dialogue. You can defend yourself from enemy attacks. I should fix all the other ones also. Oh! <laughs> oh, this text editor. It is, it's buggy. But it will be fixed in 1.4. Uh, so, languages. Text dialogues. Don't really know why it doesn't work. Anyway, it doesn't matter. 1.4 will be available in a few days, I hope. Okay, so that's it for shop treasures. There, there is not much more to say about them. Again, everything is hard-coded, the, the entire behavior displaying 
uh, is hard coded into the engine. So if you need more customization, use non-playing characters or maybe even custom entities instead. Uh, okay, so thank you for watching and see you later. Bye.